Let's get to class. Let's get to learning. Let's get to teaching. It's all about photography. If you're just arriving, we're going to dive into some photography. These lessons are going to help you on your time with your family on Thursday and this weekend and pretty much for any holiday. Um, but this is going to help you with your Thanksgiving holiday and, ha and being able to take better pictures with these thoughts and these, these tips in mind. Okay, here we go. First thing, the title of this is how to take the best photos for your Thanksgiving. Next, capturing the magic of Thanksgiving can be both fun and rewarding. Here are some tips to help you take the best photos on Thanksgiving Day. Next, document the preparation. Capture the excitement and hard work that goes into the feast. Shots of family members cooking, setting the table, and decorating can tell a great story. Man, when you go to someone's house that's throwing down on Thanksgiving, everything is going on, especially the cook of the house is working their magic. Take pictures of them. Tell your story. Again, remember, we're not just picture takers. We are storytellers. We are visual storytellers. That's what we use our cameras for. We are telling stories. Okay, so take pictures of the food. Take pictures of the person cooking. Take pictures of people in the living room watching the parade or watching whatever's on TV or looking at movies. Take pictures and tell your family story. Next, focus on details. Photograph the little things that make your Thanksgiving unique, like beautiful arranged table, the delicious dishes, and the festive decor. Yes, take pictures. Take pictures of everything, the details. Some, of, some folks decorate their Christmas tree on Thanksgiving. Take pictures of that moment. Take pictures of the details, the ornaments, the bowls, the plates, the forks. Get in there. Things that are unique to your family. Maybe there's grandma's heirloom, you know, what are you call silverware. Take pictures of it. Interact with your family. Next, the Nate at open up the windows. Here it is. The natural light. Shoot in natural light. Use natural light. Whenever possible, eliminate your photo. Uh, sorry, illuminate your photos with natural light. Open curtains and blinds to let in as much light as possible. Soft natural light will make your pictures look warm and inviting. Open up the windows. Open up the curtains. Pull back the drapes. Let in the light. That way you can take great photos. It's going to make your photos nice. You don't have to bring down that ISO so low. You can keep the ISO nice. You know, most of our new cameras can deal with ISOs. But you can take great pictures by using the natural light. So get that natural light in there. Okay? Next, get candid shots. You know about we like those candid shots, candid camera, camera, right? Candid camera, TV. Candid photos of people laughing, talking, and enjoying themselves often capture the spirit of Thanksgiving better than posed pictures, right? It's okay to do the pose stuff, but what's really good is taking those photos when no one is expecting it. And then when you show all the photos of the day and they were like, oh my gosh, look at us talking with auntie such and such or oh cousin, you know, cousin Bob and us over here talking and, and oh look at everyone's laughing over there. It's so important to tell the story. Just take the pictures, just take the picture. And be ready to snap these moments as they happen. Okay, next one. Capture the atmosphere, right? 
the family gathering, whether there's a conversation talking about politics, hopefully not, not this year, <laughs> or talking, or you see your family talking about old times, or people are reminiscing when someone was with us and they're no longer with us. You know, Thanksgiving can be sometimes a little touchy when it comes to missing loved ones. But it's, it's okay to con you know, take those moments, take the pictures of family interacting and connecting. Don't just focus on the food. Include photos of family traditions, children playing, and everyone gathered together. These moments make great memories, right? Great memories. That's what you're doing. You're creating a story. And then you can put them in a nice folder and send them out to your family members and say, these are the photos we took on our time together. Okay, next. Play with angles. You know I've been saying this with you guys forever. Try shooting from different perspectives. Get high. Shoot from high. Shoot from low. Or at table level. This adds variety and interest to your photos. Right? We don't want boring pictures where we just take I mean, taking the picture just straight on. Take pictures from different angles. Go up. Go down. From low. From high. You know, make different. Make changes. Walk around the area to see what's the best way to take the picture. Don't just pick up the camera and start shooting. Right? Analyze what's going on. Is the light? Where's the light? Is the light on this person versus is a shadow on that person? Right? Think about all those things. But at the end, look at your perspective. Like I would, you know, when I'm doing my photo shoots of my clients. I will tell them, stand still. I am going to move around you and photograph you. I'm just taking pictures from different angles to get the best perspective. Here we go. Next, group shots, because there is a place for group shots. Gather everyone together. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Let's take pictures together. Gather everyone for a group photo. Use a tripod if you have one for those of the more professional photographers in the room. Or steady surfaces. And consider using a timer or remote to ensure everyone is included. So you want to be included in the photo too. So if you have, you're fortunate to have a sharp tripod or you have a table that you can sit things on or a shelf. And then you can get with the family, put, click on the timer. Put that little five-second timer, count in your head, one, two, three, four, five, pose. Well, before you get to five, <laughs> on four, pose, right? One, two, three, pose, and then click, okay? So use your shutter um, timers. That will help you as well. All of our phones have timers, so use them on your smartphone or your camera. Next. And this is one of the most important parts, post-processing. After the event, use photo editing software to adjust lighting, enhance colors, and crop your images to make them look their best. Remember, we talked about not using that computer Zoom? Just take the picture and then crop it and you'll get a better picture, right? Can I say it again? Try not to use that zoom, even though in a lot of the newer cameras, the zooms are getting really better, are really good at it. Um, like I think the new Apple phones are really good with their new zooms. But take the picture in its regular format and then crop in and you will get a better picture, okay? And let's see what else is that. That's it, remember. <clears throat> The most important thing is to enjoy the day and the moments with your loved ones. Happy Thanksgiving and happy shooting. I hope that these tips will help you in your Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day 
family time, or even if it's not family time, maybe you're going out to the shelter, or maybe you're going out to feed the homeless. Maybe you're going to feed people in the Salvation Army. That is your Thanksgiving. Share those moments, right? Photograph those moments. Document those moments. It's not every, you won't always be going to wherever you're doing on those Thanksgiving. Every Thanksgiving changes over time. Loved ones that were here today will not be here maybe several Thanksgivings down the road. And you have these wonderful photos to document your family's legacy, your family time together. Document you, whoever you are, that you, everyone has a designated photographer in the family. If you are that designated photographer in your family, know that your role is so important. You are documenting your family's legacy. If it's time with your friends, it's time with your friends. That's your family. Some, some folks, their friends are their family. And that's legacy too. Take your camera, use your camera to document the precious moment of being together on this in this Thanksgiving season. Okay, guys, let me just give you a couple of banner. Um, you know, I need to do my banner thing. And um, just so that you know, also, oh, there, what's going on here? Okay, let me pop this back. And there we go. Here we go. If you are looking for an event photographer, you can reach out to me or if someone you know that's looking for a photographer, make sure that you mention my name. I can come to wherever you want me to go in this world if you want to pay me to get there. But I am an event photographer and I'm really good at what I do. And um, so do that if you want to share that information. Also, again, thank you to our sponsors, uh, Rolling Clouds, Eritvis, and also mainly our Patreon community that is always supporting what we do here. The Patreon community, this could not be done without our Patreon community. Um, so thank you. If you see a Patreon community person in our community, make sure you give them a thanks because without them, we cannot do that. And if you want to be a part of our things, get, uh, our Patreon page, uh, let me just go there real quick. And you can do that by, let me go there. There we go. You can just click on that below. And uh, you see patreon.com slash Ron Lewis Photos. Okay, I think we're good. We got that all squared away. 